Uh, they always had a desire to move to, uh, to Florida, so they called it the Pelican Wire Company. Uh, we had a chance to move down in the, uh, the mid-70s. My grandfather had bought a piece of retirement property down here, so they had experienced the area and were very interested in Naples. Uh, but of course, moving in the mid-70s, I was, I was struck by the presentation earlier about uh, Audrey and sort of where this county has come from and where it's grown from. Taking your business out of the Midwest in the middle of that industrial environment and moving to kind of the backwoods of southwest Florida was a little bit of a risk. So being a good entrepreneur, Larry started a few other businesses. He bought a, uh, a Vespa scooter dealership and a Yazoo lawnmower dealership and a Manco go-kart dealership. And of course, none of those businesses made any money, but the, uh, but the wire company continued to grow. So over the, uh, over the 70s and 80s, we uh, expanded out of the building several times that we started in. Uh, we bought several more pieces of property out on uh, Taylor Road and JMC Industrial Park. And then in 2004, we had the opportunity to consolidate to get business back down under one 33,000 square foot building in uh, White, Lake, uh, White Lake Corporate Park. Uh, and then on September uh, 30th, 2008, we converted the company over to uh, 100% employee ownership as a uh, employee stock ownership plan. And in uh, uh, January of this year, we received our ISO 9001-2008 uh, certification. Uh, so Pelican Wire Company, we, we insulate specialty wire products. So you think about wire that's uh, very, very fine, stuff that's uh, as fine as the hair on your head. We put insulation on top of that wire. Uh, we deal with very uh, unique alloys. We deal with resistance wire. So if you've ever looked down inside your toaster and seen that little glowing element inside, that's a piece of resistance wire. So it's metal, you run electricity through it, and it generates heat. Uh, we also manufacture a product called thermocouple wire, which is used for temperature measurement. We do this using a, uh, a variety of different uh, manufacturing processes. We have three extrusion lines that are set up for uh, high temp thermoplastics such as FEP, PFA. Uh, we have a variety of different braiders where we insulate with glass and uh, Nomex as well as do metal overbraid. Uh, we have a variety of bunching and straining equipment where we take multiple ends of wire and kind of twist them all together to make one, uh, one solid wire product. And we have a number of other manufacturing products. We run taping machines, we run uh, enameling lines, saturation lines, and um, and all this is for the purpose of manufacturing these miniature specialized cables. So some examples where our product has been used. Uh, we have a number of uh, heating products that are used for de-icing of aircraft. We have some wire that actually goes into the uh, blades of the Black Hawk helicopter. Um, we have uh, uh, heating uh, elements that are used to warm up solutions. So we have one particular product that goes to warm up the saline solution that's used to flush out the joints in orthopedic surgery. Uh, we have some uh, thermocouple wire, very, very fine thermocouple wire that's used to measure the temperature of the kidney in uh, um, um, cancer treatment. Uh, we have some uh, ultra-high temperature uh, insulations that are used for measuring the, the temperatures of steel and aluminum during the smelting process. Uh, and then we even have some, just some simple applications, resistance wires used to cut up styrofoam. So if you've ever driven around through Port Royal and seen those beautiful sculptures, usually those are styrofoam that gets cut out ahead of time and then they plaster over them. And our wire is used to uh, actually uh, carve out the sculptures. Uh, just a few numbers for you. We have 48 employees. Uh, we've developed over 3,000 custom wire products through the, uh, the life of the business. Uh, we have experienced uh, annual double-digit double growths through, the, uh, through the, this last decade, with the exception of 9-11, uh, of course, everyone's favorite year last year. Uh, and just to give you some idea of where our products are utilized, uh, we, we sell primarily outside of Collier County uh, through the United States. 91% of our sales are in the U.S. We have about 7% sales in the, uh, the North American area, and uh, then the rest of it is in Asia and Europe and the Middle East. And I just want to say a, a couple of uh, special thanks to some local organizations. Uh, the Southwest Florida Worker uh, Workforce Development Board assisted us last year during the, the difficult economic times with some really critical training that we needed for our extrusion department. Uh, Jim Wall from, the, from that group was instrumental in helping us uh, secure a grant from the state, and it's been, it's been paying dividends for us. We're now trying to expand our extrusion department out to 24-7 uh, operation, and, and that training was a key portion of what allowed us to get to this point. 
Uh, I also want to recognize Florida MEP. There's a gentleman, uh, Neil Kagan, who's a local representative of Florida MEP. Uh, they helped us secure, again, some state funding last year for the purpose of receiving our ISO certification. I'm not sure that we would have been able to do it last year in the economic times that we had without his assistance. And I also want to thank uh, Brooke Abrilson from the, uh, the EDC of Collier County. Um, uh, they have been just in continual contact with me about all the different things that they're trying to do to improve the business environment in Collier County and bring new businesses to the area. The project innovation, I think, is a very important effort that they are working on, and I hope that it, uh, it has your support. And that's it. Do you have any questions? Ted, I have a presentation to, make to you. I'd like to present you a plaque for being selected as the Collier County Business of the Month, and I'd like to congratulate you and your family for the wonderful job you've done in making your business a success. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.